Howdy all, I, I, I mean, uh, <clears throat> welcome oh, back to Duff Cup, my name is Dofri. I'm separate. And this is another episode of Cup Scriber Crips. Woo! And you saw too many Joe Hills videos. First thing to mention, look at the amount of my levels. <laughs> yeah. Only 300 more to go. <laughs> Time to kill you. No, 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 no. Time to kill you. Many people on the server have been asking her a Doffrey hat because there is not a single one on the server still. And we are going to have a PvP event on the server eventually. And I thought it would be a very nice idea if my hat, my death, is one of the rewards for the winner of the PvP server event. So I will try to get to 1000 levels until then. And then the winner can get the first Doffrey hat on the server and also kill a dude with. 1000 levels <laughs> and so you can imagine how hard it is to get to 1000 levels to get from level 700 to 701 um it's about as much xp as you would need to get from 0 to 30 about 9 or 10 times really so it takes a huge amount of xp and a long of time to get the amount of levels Especially since we are not allowed to use autoclick on the server. All right, back to the important things. Cup scriber mm. crips and not your head. <laughs> Which I <laughs> could easily chop off now. <laughs> you, you could never, would never <laughs> win a PvP fight against me. <laughs> Don't get cocky. You could <laughs> never. <laughs> I have a very strong bow. <laughs> yeah, I have one as well. Don't get cocky. Okay, talk about Satsumi now. <laughs> Yeah, as mentioned last week, uh, we will visit Tsutsumi. Oh no, oh no. And yeah, his base is not too far <laughs> from the Never Hub. Uh, let's head there. Uh, wait a minute, Dofri. You sure you want to enter his base? Because look, he has a lot of heads. Um, seems like he's collecting them and, uh, and enjoys the slaughter of things. I mean, he even has like the different funny heads. Uh, I, I have no words for this. I mean, um, there, uh, there are many aspects of Minecraft, but uh, <laughs> uh, this is a creepy one. <laughs> if you enjoy doing this. <laughs> okay, come on. I can remember at the beginning of the season you told me, hey, Dory, there's a dude on the server. He's building like E4 does. And I was like... And what do you mean there's an E4 base on the server? And then I visited this place for the first time. I was like, oh yeah, I know what she means. And there is Mr. Tsutsumi. <laughs> the base owner we himself. Probably, I, I'm not sure if he knows that we are recording. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, look at this place. You come in here and you're like, okay, we want to talk about this base in this episode. Where do you even start? <laughs> yeah, there's so much. I mean, yeah, where do we want to start? Well, judging from outside, it looks like a castle, but it also doesn't look like a castle at all. I mean, this place is so full <laughs> and so weird in a positive way, weird. And colorful. It's so creative. Uh, yeah, where do we... I don't know where to start. Maybe, maybe we start with the thing we are standing on. The faces. With the giant faces. Yeah. You see it better from up top there, right? So I think I'm standing right now at the B double O face. <laughs> yeah, there's zombie, there's scar, there's cup, here's false if I'm correct. B dubs yeah. and Randy the Oh yeah, Oops. it's <laughs> really nice and it covers up this whole villager area. Which is nice because he has free roaming, <laughs> biological, correctly held <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> villages. You get some or or organic materials from those free range <laughs> villages, right? <laughs> yeah, you can be sure that when you buy from him, it's all good products. All good products you can just obtain by him. No chemistry involved, no medical, just pure <laughs> free range materials. But, but on the other hand, it's nice to see something like this for once on the server because like everyone is pushing the villagers into very tight places and treating them like 
animals. <laughs> <laughs> and they are here free. Um, free, yeah, of course they are encased in here, but yeah, it's a rare sight here. Yeah, I think they have their best life. And also there's a graveyard of Glitcher hats <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so so funny, it's so strange. <laughs> like look at this. <laughs> and also I have no idea what this what's this landing place of hay bales here. <laughs> so, this way is so funny. <laughs> Maybe it's like when when you have to quickly fly in then you can just like boop your head here and you're still safe. <laughs> okay. Kinda. So it's like a, a lighter landing place, right? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh boy. Okay, so maybe let's properly start in this house. <laughs> uh, and I, okay, I need to mention this. Like, I would never ever in my life put poor poor next to dark prismarine, <laughs> and also oh, and also put yellow windows in the building. <laughs> this is so strange, and I. You see why Separate said it looks like Eve was building here. <laughs> well, I think this base, uh, we can already say that, is showing that someone is thinking outside of the box. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, really, I would never do such a thing. And then you come in here and see this. And like, you, you do, do you think it's nice or do you think it's bad you you you, you don't know what to think about it because it's like such a rare style here and block choice it's like it really i, I get why you think about evo here yeah i, I get it because evo also uses a very uh, strange combinations of blocks that kind of still work together yeah right and and the same thing is happening here so this is his main room i assume because we have like some goodies Hanging around here, some fancy armors and spare rings, tools, uh, flexing hard here. And here you can see the faces if you turn your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why is Randok highlighted though? <laughs> Do you see that? It looks like like they are on a on a Discord call or something. And ah, Randok. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But also you see you see what we mentioned just earlier on this map how colorful this place is and oh yes yeah, some pets over here bird m77 and ren bird ren diggity bird <laughs> <laughs> cool and yet again a creepy thing here i i have no idea do you do you what do you, are you what, getting are what you should getting... you think about this <laughs> like... are you getting nervous <laughs> Slowly, but surely. My head will not be never here. At least Tsumi wins the PvP contest, so yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe he should start training. He should, yeah. Everyone on the server should. I, I, I don't see anyone having any reason at all not to participate. <laughs> and talking about fun elements of the base, if you look at this tower, you see it has no gate at all, but a trap here. I, If I'm correct, you can... Yeah. Lower it, so no mob. Ha <laughs> Here. Oh. No. Yeah. oh. <laughs> so you can, uh, if I'm correct, Asumi taught me that if you come with a bad omen in his base, uh, nothing bad will happen because the raid can't even get in here because of just that. It's such a, I, I won't say a simple design, but it's such a creative way, yet again, a very creative way. <laughs> Yeah. To keep all bad guys out of your base. I mean, the only thing that could be really a danger to you then are evokers with the vexes, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so after taking a better view at this base, I would say he has everything <laughs> in here. It's yes. a, a very compact base. I have to say they have like really everything. You feel like everything is in here. I, I, I would really agree to, on that. And also the, the things he implemented here, for example, with the chorus fruits, that's kind of clever. They don't have like those huge chorus fruits where you have to shoot like 10 times to get the, the chorus flower. But it's just like also so handy 
Everything he does, kind of. Uh, sorry, I wasn't listening. This cat looks like he's pooping. Yeah, brown, brown particles flying all over the place. <laughs> Have you seen that it's happening like, with like all of his a, cats? Like it's a litter box. Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you have you seen that all cats are doing that? While in a boat or in yeah, general? Yeah, follow me. Those over here, they are doing the same thing. <laughs> what is he feeding his cats that they are pooping all the time? <laughs> it looks like they are constantly pooping themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, you have to change the diet. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we went from the area where he has like farms for plants over the tree farms to the end of mill farms and i have to say also here he has i'm not sure if he has every well you cannot say he has every animal because he has an every color sheep but he has horses and there are more cats some lions. i think they're eating something else their poop is gray <laughs> Oh lord, this is not healthy. <laughs> why, why, why is he a dragon llama? <laughs> dragon sign. And corgis and vida vida llama. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he has no name. And why am I here? Why Wait, I... if you are there, then I have to be also <laughs> here. Where am I? <laughs> he's shadow llama. <laughs> oh, he looks so colorful. <laughs> Not like does you. He, does, does, you you hey, with your dark My soul. skin is black. He should be black as well. It's all fine. And I think your llama is broke because <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Why does your llama have Thuringer <laughs> inside? <laughs> hey, yours has uh, a Rostbratwurst. And That's some very nice attention to detail. <laughs> I have to admit that. <laughs> but, personal information, I know that Dofri likes Krakow the most. Uh, yeah, that's true. So to me, you need to offer more sausages. <laughs> Dofri. I have no idea what you're doing there. Are you training for the Elytra PvP arena? I don't know how I ended up here. I feel like this is... This is like a safe landing. It's a very inefficient landing. <laughs> I'm not proud that you at this moment. <laughs> Your in inefficiency bothers me. <laughs> no, but what is this? Uh, Where is it for? Assuming from the heads, uh, it's a phantom killing oh. tower. That's what he's talking about when he says he needs to run to his tower. Because the birdies are back. Now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Unimpressed. So I think we could talk about his base for hours. He's so much to discover. He has many parts that are also on the ground and so many little tiny bits and pieces. But I think we won't do that here because Totsumi has his own YouTube channel, right? Right, uh, he also did a video of his base already with a full tour and since we also don't want to sneak in every corner of every base, that would be rude as well, just go ahead to his channel, we will link it um, down below and then you can watch his videos and he makes great content. Please give him a like and a sub and yeah, just support him. Yeah, really, if you watch Tatsumi's videos, each episode is so much better in quality than the previous one. He really improves in a very fast pace. I need to I need to say that. And we also want to make you curious about his pace and make you watch his videos instead of just showing you every single detail here. But uh, what we should mention here definitely are those um, um, art pieces. <laughs> <laughs> So Tsuzumi has built a giant cup statue here. He is also a was a chicken. <laughs> he gave Fenagon a fish full of fish. <laughs> 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 because Fenagon loves fish. So everyone, if you have 
too many fishes in your base. Please bring them to Fenagon. Fenagon needs oh, a yes. lot of them, like hundreds of sharkers of fish. Yeah, he loves them. He's obsessed with them. Just bring all of your fish in here and drop them down this bridge for Fenagon, who is living there. <laughs> but but now back to Totsumi. He built a creeper for the Eclipse Head crew because they are better at spawn proofing, as you all know. <laughs> 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 and I mean, if creepers would look like that, I wouldn't be scared of them. It looks so cute. <laughs> so cute. Here's also a pale frog that's named the Sephiroth. <laughs> oh. Is that a mouth or a mustache? <laughs> it's not a mustache. <laughs> and I already know because you told me there's a dove frog. Which is really great. I, I mean, a Sephiroth said, to, told me, yeah, a Sephiroth told me, Totsumi built a frog with your face on it. I was like, oh my God, what ha what has he done? What, <laughs> what has he done? And then come in here and I was like watching this thing for five minutes straight. I'm in love. This is the best frog on the whole server and definitely the best looking Dolphin here. Like, look at my face. Look at my face. It's ugly in comparison to that beauty over there. I must say it. I don't know how my feelings are about this chicken head about the body hanging above my frog. I mean, <laughs> heads of dead animals and players in Tatsumi's base is like a tradition. Oh yeah, that's tradition. not it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> you have Nerd to have floating era. heads there, Seb. You have to have <laughs> that <laughs> things there. Okay, but... Uh, this is not the only place Tsumi is uh, building, because that's uh, one thing we haven't mentioned as well. He's building like through the whole server. And he's not only building alone, but he's also building with other people. And yeah, it's, it's just so much he's doing and we want to show you two more things. He has some very good projects going on on the Never Roof. So let's head back there. Okay, now you will see how much I fail at this ice boat track. <laughs> just, I, I, I really cannot do it. <laughs> I just wanted to say, why do you sound so sad? <laughs> what? I, yeah. I should practice, but... And also, please don't like think about how I drive here, how I drive in real life. That's not how I would drive in real life ever. I mean, in real life, I'm still better than you, but... <laughs> you're not a bad... <laughs> you're, not a bad you're not a bad driver. <laughs> Yeah, at least with motorcycles, but I have a bit more, a, a few, a few years more experience at riding motorcycles. Than yeah, you I'm, do. I'm like a baby at the moment with my experience, <laughs> and you like a grandpa. <laughs> You're very, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so should we make like a training round? Uh, no. No. No, just go for it. Yeah, but but yeah, just go. Just. <laughs> Wait. No. Oh. oh. I'm I'm not good at this. I'm so not <laughs> Okay, you wanna count us in? Okay. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Do you see how much I, I wonder play? if you know <laughs> Ducky? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. no. Oh man. Oh man, I thought I would be better at that. What? No! If I know when then it's pure luck. Let's make like best of three if you win. <laughs> if I win, we can stop there. Uh... <laughs> Shall we? I have been in this place before. Oh, oh my god. So oh my god. <laughs> uh... Yay. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, that's the play. <laughs> my head is dizzy. So, one more round? One more round. He said best of three. Yeah, so if I win the next one, it's over. So one more round. <laughs> okay. I can't reach you. Oh no! <laughs> Dang. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> Where's your boat even? Oh dear. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> okay, okay. Good that nobody's watching here. <laughs> Please look away, people. Please look just away. Just skip this part. Yeah. yeah. No, no, just skip to the next. I, I will mark it as part that is skippable if you're bored. Really. Okay. Do you want to count us in? And go. Yeah. 
Doppeldecken Elite. No. Doppeldecken the first corner, like a no. champion. Next corner, whoa, he's drifting his way through the cars. Oh. And the next, and the next, he's and dragging his knee in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> like a fool, like everywhere. a fool. <laughs> Mother GP master. And. Wah, 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 wah. I won again. You're not even wondering in where are you at all? <laughs> where are you? <laughs> so bad. I feel like a drunk person right now. Should I make you some dinner to you here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, there you are. Oh. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on the less meters, right? <laughs> I just That's give up. That's the spirit. I'm almost there. I give up. <laughs> I'm fed up with this. I don't want it. Oh. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> In my opinion, on or if I'm correct, this is Totumi's biggest um, community project he's done so far. Yes. Or maybe even the biggest project he's done so far overall on the server. Because it's like it involves in the planning. It's quite huge. Yeah. And also involves some uh, expensive materials and the thought process is long and so on. It's a big project, right? And yeah. it's for the community. And the basic idea here is Totsumi wanted to make a place for everyone on the server to come in and be close to one each other. Because we like, yeah, some people are living close by, some people are quite far away. And besides the shopping district, we should have a place where everyone is like a neighbor, right? On a sm yeah. small space. Right. So he built this giant building. Um, I think the inspiration was uh, Vanilla Woodland Mansion. But he definitely changed the color palette. Yeah, and of course the shapes, but the, the first inspiration was a Woodland Mansion. Yeah. And there are many, many suites in there, also a postal office for all the community members. And everyone can egg a plot in here and build in this room. So if we go inside here, we are on the second floor. But let's just look at the first floor. He has some rooms you can claim one room and do with it whatever you want. You can put a shop in here maybe or just do like a yeah, nice room, nice yeah. apartment or something like this. And we are on the second floor and we actually claim three rooms. So like that, you mean Cookie and me got the three rooms and we can also extend it with another floor, which we will definitely do. All right, before we start building the suite, which I already designed and we have the materials for it. We also want to dismantle this gold farm. As you mentioned in the last video, it's kind of um, annoying us. It was here before the hotel, but um, now that the Never Hub is finished and the community suites are built up and starting to getting in shape and the first people start building here, I really think this should be moved. So let's start with that. And after that, we will build our suite.
So, the call farm is gone. <laughs> and <laughs> also the next floor is added. <laughs> I think it turned out nicely. I hope I did a good job on there. I tried to stay in Tatumi's building style and also the block palette choices he did. For example, he has here diorite and granite. So I chose andesite for the top part. Also choose a different variation of prismarine there. Also a different ore. And I tried to stay with the with this design choices, right? So if you look at this, you would hopefully never think someone else built it you would think yeah so to me added something there that's that, that was the goal <laughs> i think you know that uh, thank you <laughs> Looking at the outside of the building, I immediately thought about something Spanish or Mexican. So I look at pictures of Mexican and Spanish houses and homes and try to replicate it a little bit here. So on this side we have a kitchen here with a nice dining table some bookshelves here is the living room with a nice big couch and also a great tv <laughs> <laughs> here is a bedroom that like kind of orientates on a more traditional uh, spanish white bed with some decoration on it here we have a nice bathroom with a cozy fluffy gray carpet here <laughs> and i must say this whole thing was very challenging to me because it's not only that i'm not that good or not that used to do interior design i always let separate do it for me <laughs> yeah that's true um you also have to spawn proof here everything so that was hard that was hard so yeah I can do interior and then be spawn proof, so everything is slabs or at least carpets. That was hard. That was really hard. Um, and then here on the next floor, we have. Oops, why do I go in the window? <laughs> why do I go in the window again? I don't know. Maybe you, you, you like to hide. hide and <laughs> seek and like to. <laughs> All right. We have a pool table here and also a piano, a place to smoke your hookah, and also a bar. Uh, double whiskey, please. No. <laughs> Kein Bier vor vier. <laughs> and oops. And on the other side, we have here a nice aquarium, like a dry aquarium for maybe lizards or turtles or something like this. Here is the mafia boss's office. <laughs> Give me your money <laughs> now, I can. Why do you come to me on the wedding day of my daughter? <laughs> We have a daughter? <laughs> I need to uh, more, watch more movies with you, woman. <laughs> <laughs> and also here on the outside you have a nice garden that is also totally spawn proof. That was also a pain. I missed so many stuff in here and like also wanted, uh, wanted to add signs. But if you add, for example, sign here on the side, then it's still not spawn proof even though you can put anything else in there. So a lot of testing and trying things out went into this and yeah, this is bomb proof because of the stair, blah, blah, blah. It's it's hard. Make a garden in the never that's fully spawn proof. Uh, I mean, I mean. Luckily we have like moss blocks, otherwise. Yeah, it, was all, it would all be just, yeah. A stone garden would Gr be green, Or a green carpet garden. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but I think it turned out nicely. I orientated also some pictures of so uh, Mexican homes and uh, Mexican gardens so often they have like a fountain in the middle of the garden uh, so it cools you down and what are you doing? Sniffing on the flower. <laughs> okay so the fountain so they cool you down a, lit, uh, a little bit in the summer and also they usually have those grayish trees there so I use some blocks that you you usually wouldn't use for a tree but i think they replicate the look quite nicely i have no idea how the trees are called i have no idea how the flowers are called but many many gardens <laughs> in like mexico have those magenta pink flowers and that's why here so many pinkish magenta things i have don't ask me how they are called yeah but they look gray i made trees <laughs> if you know it leave a comment then we know and can reference to it yeah. don't free they are called blah 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 <laughs> How oh, can you not know? Oh, you okay. stupid dark <laughs> okay. But in general, I think it, it turned out nicely overall. Yeah, I hope Tsutsumi likes it. I, if I'm correct, we're the very first uh, guys here that finished their suite. And uh, okay, we went overboard as with everything that we do. <laughs> it's just sure. not one room, but we took three rooms and then extended it above the roof. So yeah, it's a, a little bit maybe too much. <laughs> 
but I hope he likes it. I hope he's happy how his community project is coming together and our addition to it. And before we say goodbye to you guys, we want to check one more thing. Not a Band-Aid has left us a present at our base, apparently. Okay, I have seen it already, but I guess you haven't, right? <laughs> yeah, something you don't want to see after you build something for that long. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I can guess why. <laughs> I can also the, guess the, it. The background story is we are now designing, uh, or I am now designing a PvP arena for the server, a huge community project. And I'm also recording the design process, so you can be excited for that. I don't know when it will come out. I'm not sure yet, but um, it will probably be a two part. So one part uh, is the general design process of the bulk of it. And maybe we'll put um, the finished build on the server when it's finally done. and. Uh, how the community filled it with maybe some decoration or additional details i don't know and i asked not a band-aid if he wants to uh, join the community project and he told me he would rather blow up our base with tnt than help us with it because he really really hates pvp <laughs> apparently <laughs> Are we so brave and uh, do we want to check it out? You, you have, have a totem. totem. I have a totem on me. Uh, okay, let's go. 